let's learn how you can create an Azure account for yourself so that you can do the labs. The first step is to go to azure.microsoft.com slash free. Remember that you will need a credit card to create an account for yourself. And this credit card is for authorization purposes only. Microsoft does not deduct any account for you. So it looks like I'm already logged in here, but I gotta log out from here first. So if you're logged in with any of your Outlook accounts or Microsoft account, it's okay. I'm logging out because I already have a Azure account. All right, so this is where you'll be. Azure.microsoft.com slash free will take you here. Click on start free, and then you sign in with your account. Sign in with your Microsoft Hotmail account or a live account or an Outlook account, etc. And then it will ask you to fill up a form um, where you type your first name, last name, uh, address. Make sure that the address matches the credit card. Put your PIN code and everything properly because there will be a verification done. I've seen that there are a number of people who try to create accounts. It fails primarily because they do not type in or punch in their information properly. So make sure that you give all the information correctly that matches or maps to your credit card. So what do you get? You get one month free trial account. The credit limit of your Azure account will be $200. That means during that period, which is one month, you can do the labs worth $200. So that's all it is. In the next session, I'm gonna show you what are the various ways you can connect to Azure.